Okay then, so far we have successfully gone to the database and we've selected the data that we need. Now, I quickly wanted to show you one more thing. When we grab this data, we can actually order it in a specific way if we wanted to. And the way we do that is by using a keyword or rather two keywords together, order by at the end. And we can order by a specific column or property if you like. For example, we could order by the title alphabetically or the ID or the ingredients, or we could order by creating that. Remember, that was that timestamp that's automatically created when we add a new document. So that's what I'm going to order by, so that they display in some kind of chronological order. So I'm going to order by created underscore at. Okay, so now we have those ordered by this property right here. That's fine. Okay, so now we have all these different pizzas or rather two pizzas at the minute what would be nice is if we could output them to the template now to do that we're going to use this array right here remember that's now an array an array of arrays basically where each pizza is an associative array so we can cycle through this pizzas thing right here and output the data so underneath the header down here that's where we're going to do this first of all i'm going to create an h4 this is going to have a class of center and it's also, in fact, going to have a class of gray hyphen text. And we'll just say pizzas. OK, so that's the title of the page. Now, under that, I'm going to do another div. And this is going to have a class of container. Remember, this is a materialized class and it centralizes everything within a central column. Now, what I'm going to do is use the materialized grid system here. Now, again, I'm not going to go into materialize too much. I don't want to take away the focus from PHP here because that's what we're learning. But if you want to learn about materialize grid, the link to the materialize playlist is right down below. I explain it extensively in that course. But anyway, all we need to do is first of all, declare a row for the grid. And that's with a class of row. So, oops, let's do that first of all. And inside the row, this is where we want to cycle through the different pizzas and output some content for each pizza. OK, so let's do our PHP tags. First of all, um, we're going to do a for each loop and we want to cycle through the pizzas array because that's what we called it right here and as pizza. So we're referring to each individual pizza as we iterate through the array as a single pizza. All right, then. So let's open up that code block. We need to end the code block down here somewhere. So let's do some more PHP tags and close that off as well. So inside here, this is where we're going to output the actual template for each individual pizza. Now we'll do a div first of all with a class of call and we're going to use the grid system here. So every time we give something some kind of space on the grid system in materialize, we use the class of call. Then we say how wide it's going to be, how many columns of width on the screen we want it to take up for each individual um, screen size. So for example, I'm going to say for small screens, six columns in width. Now there's 12 columns in total in the materialized grid. So this basically means on small screens, I want you to take up half of the width, six of those 12 columns. Now on medium screens, I want you to take up three columns of width. Now that's going to be a quarter because four lots of three make 12, right? Okay, cool. So basically each pizza that we output on medium sized screens is going to take up a quarter of the width. That's what this is saying. Now inside this bit of space that we've given for each pizza, I want to do a div and that's going to have a class of card. Again, this is materialized class. It just makes it look a little nicer. And this card is also going to have a Z hyphen depth of zero just to take away the box shadow. And inside we need another div with a class of card hyphen content this time again materialized class just to display it correctly on the screen and also i'm going to use a class of center to centralize any text okay so now we want to output the title of the pizza so we'll do that inside an h6 and we need our php tags to output this variable so echo and then remember we're echoing something out here that a user has initially entered and i said rule one in getting data of a user is never trust the user so what we need to do is use that method or that function rather HTML special chars to escape any malicious code when we're outputting it to the browser. So that's what we're going to do here. HTML special chars. And then we're going to output the individual pizza, but not all of it. It's an array, remember, with different properties. And we want the title right here. So we're outputting the title right there inside the H6. 
Okay, now we want to output the ingredients. So I'll do a div for these. And again, a PHP tag, first of all, we're going to echo HTML special chars and in brackets, we want the pizza and this time the ingredients from that pizza. So now we're outputting the title and the ingredients. And remember, we got both of these, the title and the ingredients, right? So finally, what I'd like to do at the bottom of this card is output some kind of button saying more info. And when we click on that, it's going to take us to a dedicated page later on about that pizza, who created it, when it was created. We can delete it there if we want to, etc. So let's make a final div underneath the card content because this div is going to have a class equal to card hyphen action and also write a line that's going to align the text inside it or the anchor tag inside it to the right. So we want an anchor tag here. This is ultimately going to be a link which takes us to an individual details page later. Now this is going to have a class of brand hyphen text. Remember, it gives it that gold color. We created this class before towards the start of creating this project. So let's do that first of all. The href at the minute is not going to go anywhere. We're going to tackle this later on. But for now, we'll just put a pound symbol in and then we'll say more info. OK, so then, my friends, I think that is pretty much it for the template of outputting the pizzas. So it's going to output this for each individual pizza that we return from the database. OK, and we do that because we're using a for each right here. Sweet. So let's save that and cross our fingers and hope this works. OK, first of all, I'm going to not echo this out at the top because we don't need to anymore. So let's get rid of that and save it. Then let's go over here and refresh. And now we can see these two things here. So we have the Ninja Supreme and the ingredients right there, the Mario Supreme and the ingredients right here. So there we go, my friends. We've done it. We've grabbed data from a database. And to be honest, let's let's face it, this was pretty easy to do. We've grabbed that data and we've stored it inside this variable. We've cycled through that array. And for each individual item, for each array in that array, we've output the data that we need. And remember the important thing, when a user has input that data, let's always make sure there's no malicious code by using HTML special charts. Okay, so there we go. Now, one thing here, these things, I would like to output as some kind of list. Now, currently, these are a string. They're a comma separated string. So when we're outputting a list, ideally, I'd like to somehow cycle through some kind of data. So it would be nice to turn this string right here, which is comma separated into an array. And thereafter, we can cycle through that array using a for each loop, much like we've done for the pizzas down here. And we can output an li tag or something like that for each individual ingredient. Does that make sense? So that's what I'd like to do in the next video.